As NHS staff, we come into contact with very vulnerable people on a regular basis. Vulnerable people may be at risk of being groomed. This can include exploitation by violent extremists or terrorists. This is why all of our staff receive training in PREVENT as part of their safeguarding training. My role is about keeping neighbourhoods safe and protecting the community. The best way to do this is to prevent crime. Terrorism is a crime and that's why PREVENT is important to me. I help to safeguard vulnerable people and I support the PREVENT team. I want to encourage people to talk about the issues to prevent people from being radicalised. As a children's social worker, I have the lead responsibility for safeguarding children and young people who are vulnerable and at risk of radicalisation. Radicalisation is an important issue. People need to understand it and have the confidence to ask for advice and support, which is available from a wide range of agencies and professionals. Engaging with PREVENT does not mean spying and reporting on community members. PREVENT is about keeping our community safe and help us all to build resilience against violent extremism. We need to recognise that young people can be exposed to extremist influences and prejudiced views, especially on the internet or social media. Schools can help to protect young people from violent and extremist views in the same way that they safeguard young people from drugs, gang violence and the misuse of alcohol. Our purpose is to protect children from harm. I support PREVENT. PREVENT is about safeguarding people in the same way as protecting them against gang, drug and sexual exploitation. And who can argue with that? Safeguarding against violent extremism is no different to safeguarding against any other type of grooming. There are lots of extremist ideologies that exist. All communities have responsibility to challenge these ideas. It's not just the responsibility of the police and local authority to challenge extremism. We all have a role to play. Changing behaviour through open conversation is the key to remove the barriers.